Welcome to my YouTube channel, Oxpro Tiling and Motorcycle Stuff. We're going to be looking today at extractor fan insulation I did recently. We're going to be looking at climbing ladders, putting ease vents in, doing the extract, uh, electrical, uh, fitting the fans and replacing them for decent ones because the current inline ones were rubbish. So I hope you enjoy my video. Hold tight. Welcome to my channel, uh, Oxpro Tiling. Uh, today we are doing a two extract fans in a house. Uh, they've been they're rubbish extract fans. It's a domestic premise. They've been rooted via non-insulated ducting. So with the freezing weather, it's caused issues with um, condensation dripping down into the fans. So. Um, I've gone in there and replaced the fans with quality items, not in line, so they're just direct ones, but quite expensive, the vent axia. And I've rerouted them into the eaves. I've also fitted an automatic air vent in the source stack because that had a issue where they'd use, again, uninsulated, weak ducting, white, um, and that was vented to a ceiling vent. Uh, but that had snapped and the condensation had been running down that. Uh, that's okay, so that was going into the source stack. But the issue there was the uh, gases were coming back and going in the loft. So uh, anyway, watch the video, hope you enjoy um, and uh, see my progress. Thank you. So warning, make sure you're competent on working with electrics. In this case, the house is quite a new build. It's got a three pole isolator externally outside the bathroom which you can isolate which isolates the fans and the wiring is all correct and up to date so we're just swapping the fans over and there's no earthing so it's just a live neutral and switched live so you can see the existing ductwork has completely uh, <laughs> vaporized uh, and so the source stack gases were venting it into the loft so we've used an aav uh, which just terminates in the loft. This bit is frost protected, it can work outside, etc. Uh, this is the Durgo valve, as they call it in the old days, or an AFV automatic air vent. This is going in the source stack. The old system had uh, the vent ducting going out to a, a tile vent in the roof and it had all collapsed. Again, we're working in lofts, make sure you use a mask and fully cover up. So this is the automatic air vent. I think this is a McAlpine, quite expensive, but they work uh, in frost or outside, but this is in the loft. So you just push fit and insert it. So this is the existing wiring to the existing fan. This is where the current flows. Uh, you've got the live neutral, switch live and earth. The earth terminates in the fan because the fan itself is double insulated. So the terminals are marked with tape because they're using twin and earth and it's not always labelled uh, correctly. So before working on the fans, make sure it's isolated. You can isolate these with a three pole isolator. This is located outside the bathroom. So I'm just chasing out the plasterboard here to receive the new fan. Uh, remember these are being swapped over so you have to do some adjustment to accept the new fans which are a lot bigger in this case. Ensure when you're connecting the fan duct in to the fan outlet in the loft that you use proper jubilee clips and I use silver tape to ensure it stays uh, airtight. And you can see me here using a noggin just so I can screw into the, um, the fan into some solid woodwork. And here you can see it terminating out through the eaves and it'll be connected to the uh, soffit later. So here's the fan installed in its final position. So on to fan number two, this is the old one and then we're replacing it again. This is in the ensuite. So this is the new fan electrics. You've got live, switched live and neutral, no earth. 
uh, the delay timer and the humidistat. And the dehumidistat you can do from 50 to 90 relative humidity. Get some of these marksman pens, they're absolutely brilliant for uh, marking holes before drilling. Always have a head torch, brilliant for just, uh, you know, everything really, you, you'll always need them. I got this one for decathlon, I use it for running as well. An essential piece of kit. You can see the existing fan used raw plugs to secure it to this plasterboard ceiling. I put a batten, a noggin above in the loft to secure it into a proper piece of uh, wood. So I've finished in the loft now, I've put all the insulation back, uh, all the ducting's nice and neatly laid out, and we can go outside to complete the installation with the vents. Please be careful when working on ladders, make sure you've got public liability. Um, you know, I normally use a harness and tie the ladder in if I'm uh, working for a long period of time, but I'm just doing the vents, so cutting them out with a multi-tool and connecting them on because they're already in place from the loft insulation. As it happens, I had a friend that used to love tractors. I used to be a fan of them, but he gave up, so I suppose you could call him an extractor fan. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, I hope you like my video. I'm new to this, so I'm working hard to improve. Please like, subscribe and comment below. Thank you.